Hey everyone, so the first thing I'm doing as always is prepping the eye area with some eyeshadow primer. I'm using my finger to work this anywhere that I'll be applying eyeshadow just to make sure that it lasts all day long. Next then I'm going to set that primer in place with some powder and I'm applying that powder with some of my super drug saviors. These are cotton buds but they actually have a pointed end as well as a flat end which I actually love for packing on shadow. You can use the pointed end for detailed work and these cost like less than a couple of euro. It's a handy video for those that are maybe on the move or for beginners that don't have a lot of brushes yet or maybe none at all. So I've just set that primer in place now and eyeshadow palette wise I had a little route through my collection and I hasn't used this wet and wild palette in a while so I decided to bust it out. It's a gorgeous palette that's quite similar to the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I'm beginning by taking that warm brown transition shade and I'm using my ring finger to apply this into the crease. Now the ring finger applies a light amount of pressure so this will just help us when we're blending. Initially this look will be a little messy but just stick with it and um, use your finger to pull the eye to where you want and by patting and sweeping over the area you'll blend it out. So I find it quite hard to get my finger into the inner portion of my crease so I like to coat that area then with some more of the transition shade with the help of my cotton bud again and I'm just using the tip of the cotton bud to pat the eye shadow into the crease. Next then I'm taking this deep brown eyeshadow again on my cotton bud but this time on the flat side of the cotton bud and then I'm pressing it down onto the outer third of my lid. So I could use my finger for this step but I actually find by packing on with the cotton bud I get a better colour payoff but then I'm using my finger to soften the edge that's closer to the centre of my lid just to fade that shadow across the eye. So at this point now with the eye open the eye should have looked pretty good but when I close my eye you can kind of see there's a disconnect between the transition shade and the lid shade. So what I'm doing to rectify that now is to take the pointed end of the cotton bud and I'm starting out on the edge of the brown and I'm flicking upwards towards the crease just to fade out that shade into our transition shade. Next then I'm taking a cream eyeshadow and I'm adding this to the inner portion of the lid that's bare at the moment and I'm slightly overlapping it over the dark brown too and then I'm patting out the eyeshadow with my finger just to blend it out. So by slightly layering it over that dark brown it'll alter the shade and it'll give us more of a gradient so it'll go from cream to light brown to dark. Then I'm picking up some more of that dark brown eyeshadow using the tip of my cotton bud and I'm pressing this into the upper lash line to give me the appearance of thicker lashes and to also hide the band of the lashes that I'll be applying in a few moments. Next then I'm taking this golden shade and I'm using the tip of the bud again just to pat some of this shade around the tear duct of the eye to add a nice little pop to that area. Onto the lower lash line now I'm using the top of the flat side of the bud to press some of the transition shade down along there. On first application I get close to the lash line with shadow and the second application then when I'm reapplying I can move the bud down a bit further and then I'm using my finger to soften the shadow and blow out the edges. Then I'm going in with some more of the dark brown this time with the pointed side of my cotton bud and I'm pressing this into the lower lashes. Next then I'm taking a brown eyeliner and I'm using this to line my waterline. Now usually I then set the liner using an angled brush but obviously I'm not using brushes today and I'm not doing that with the cotton bud because I don't want any cotton fibres floating into my eyeball. Um, I'm adding some natural kiss lashes now and then I'm using some mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones. But then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up, commenting and subscribing if you haven't already. And if you have any video ideas, I'd love to hear them and I'll chat to you all soon.